What's going on everybody? Brandon Rust from Bokashi Earthworks here and I just wanted to talk a little bit about microbial phosphorus cycling. So we all know that phosphorus is an essential nutrient for plant growth. It fuels root development, energy transfer, and flowering. But without the help of soil microbes, much of that phosphorus in the soil will remain locked away, unusable by plants. Phosphorus is a vital nutrient that plays a role in energy uh, systems forming ATP, the molecule that is essentially the molecular battery, the energy exchange currency that powers cellular growth. There is a catch though. Most of the phosphorus in soil is bound in insoluble forms, making it unavailable to plants. And this is where different types of microbes come to the rescue. So certain bacteria and fungi specialize in making phosphorus accessible to plants. These microorganisms break down complex insoluble phosphorus compounds using organic acids and enzymes. And there are several different species that do this. So there are things like Pseudomonas, which is a bacteria that produces organic acids like uconic acid, and it dissolves mineral-bound phosphorus. You also have things like Bacillus species, which are spore-forming bacteria that secrete phosphatases and other phosphorus-degrading um, enzymes to release the phosphorus from organic matter. You also have things like rhizobum, which are known for nitrogen fixing, but they also, um, well, some species also help with phosphorus solubilization. We all know about mycorrhizal fungi and also trichoderma does this, but these extend their hyphae into the soil, acting as a secondary root system, pulling both water and phosphorus into the plant and delivering it directly to the root in exchange for usually carbon in the form of sugars. And phosphorus cycles happens in three main ways. So we have mineralization of organic pho uh, so organic phosphorus from dead plants and animals is broken down into inorganic forms, uh, the plant available form, which is phosphate. Um, by different bacteria like the bacillus and the pseudomonas. We have the solubilization, which is insoluble phosphorus bound in rock and clay is converted into plant available forms by bacteria using the different organic acids and enzymes. We also have the uptake and the recycling, which is where plants absorb the phosphorus into their tissues and once those plants die and decay, that phosphorus is then released back into the soil, um, completing that cycle. Mineralization uh, through weathering is another process that happens uh, through natural occurrences like weather and rain. But microbial phosphorus cycling is crucial for agriculture and soil health because it reduces the need for chemical fertilizers, which cuts, excuse me, it cuts the cost of uh, production and it also decreases pollution. It improves soil structure, uh, boosting microbial diversity and the ability for roots to penetrate and spread out into that soil. And it also enhances plants' resilience, so leading to healthier, more productive crops. So one of the ways that you can do that is, is to harness these different types of microbes, we have some products like the Micro Plus which aids in phosphorus cycling and can be used in different types of system. I highly recommend people use these products um, in their native soils to decrease the amount of chemical fertilizers that are needed and to liberate the phosphorus that is already there.